god i know y'all see me with this upload schedule bro like sheesh anyways you already read the title you already know what's going on i'm not even gonna waste your time so i guess let's get straight to it oh my mama we lit All right, so first thing you're gonna want to do is, you know what I'm saying, import your picture. Sheesh. You know, I got my girl Scissor. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, damn, yo, she lucky fine. I might I might have to make a whole edit right after this tutorial. <laughs> no. Good day. Um, ciao. Anyway, so. Yo, I'm going to All right, so once you got your picture imported and everything, you're gonna want to pre-compose it. So right-click, pre-compose it, make sure it's down here. This is selected, pre-compose picture. <laughs> Go over to your fast and presets and type in motion tile. As you can see, I have a preset for motion tile and it's called motion tile. Yeet. Most of my presets have weird names, so that's why sometimes I be blurring out my, my thing because I don't want y'all reading my stuff, you know? So we don't care. Let me tell you, right, let me tell you we don't care. Once you import it, you're gonna go over to output width and change this to 400, and also do it do the same with um, output height, 400, and then mirror edges. I actually don't. Okay, now you're gonna click on this layer, click S on your keyboard for scale, and then scale this down to about like right there. So it's about like 34. If you dig a six foot hole, how deep is that hole? It's about like 20 feet. And then pre-compose this. Pre-compose this. And then you're gonna go up here and uh, click on rectangle tool. If it's something, it's probably like a circle or something, just hold it. So right, right click. The, instead of just right clicking, you hold it. So hold it and go to rectangle tool. Now you're gonna zoom in. So then you're gonna do a square like this. Um, and as you can see, you can press shift for it to be like a perfect square, as you can see. And then it's gonna be easier. Go back to your selection tool, and then we're gonna invert this. So now we got this inverted. As you can see, we got little mistakes right there. Let me fix that actually. All right, and then we're gonna pre-compose this again. So pre-compose. Crackhead. Okay, once you got it pre-composed, you're going to click on this layer, make it a three layer, and then duplicate it however many times you want. Once you have it, go over to active camera right here, and then click on left. This is gonna be in place, so this is gonna stay there. So go to the one on the bottom and then move it a little bit up like this, and then the second one, put it like this, the third one like this and the fourth one and then we can go over to you can put more space in them if you would like to for example like we could put this all the way over here and then just make it make more space you feel me once you got it how you want it go over to left and go back to the active camera so now we got something like this um go over to layer go to new and then create a null object um we're gonna make this a 3d layer and then we're gonna select all of these get this little um i don't even know what this is but hold it and then drag it to the null to attach it to the null you're gonna click on the null press p on your keyboard for position and then you're gonna zoom it out like about right here so now you got a tunnel but it's just like kind of like i don't know this is kind of boring so what you want to do is rotate them so for example this should be the the one on the top so Press R and rotate it a little bit. I'm gonna put 12 and then go to the next one. Do the opposite. So it's gonna be like negative 12 or something, you know? And then do the other one. It's gonna be 12. And then this one, negative 12. And then this one. You know what I mean. Why are we about to eat it? To add more depth, what you gotta do is add a shadow. So we can go over to effects of presets and type in drop shadow so here we got drop shadow drop it on this layer change the direction to zero and then opacity to 100 and then for softness just like do however much you want i'm gonna go right there and then once you got that you're gonna 
command C to copy it and then just highlight all of these command V just to copy it on all of them. As you can see, now it looks like it's going inside. You feel me? Pause. Um, also something you could do is go all the way in here where you see this, like the really first image pre-compose this. So pre-compose it real quick, go over to layer, new solid and make a white solid or any color you want, but I prefer to do it white and then go to this scale and then go by like 97 just to have like a little white outline. So if we go back over here, we got this cool outline. You can have a picture like over there. And so what you got to do is import another picture. I'm just going to import the same one. Um, then we, we're going to scale it up and then just pre-compose it. Make it a 3D layer. Now we're going to go over to active camera and then left. We're just going to have to drag it over here, you know, over here and then active camera as you can see now it's over there also don't forget to make this three layer also don't forget to um grab this thing and attach it to the null because if it's not attached to the null then this is just gonna stay in place and everything is gonna move so all right so we're gonna go to the null press on p and you're gonna want to zoom it in like this until you get like this first image but like it's way too big so we're just gonna scale this a little bit down press p again we're gonna make a keyframe you make a keyframe by setting this little timer thing on and then we're gonna put it about right there and then we're gonna go a couple frames and then we're gonna scale this down I, you see how um it's not covered over here what you could do is just add motion tile to this motion tile as you can see or you could just simply zoom it in a little bit more so now we're gonna zoom this all the way up here um by right uh, right there select these f9 we're gonna go over to the graph so if your thing is like this make sure that you right click and go over to uh value graph but as you can see you can't move it but let me show y'all a little trick if y'all been watching my videos and you probably already know this trick so go to position and then separate dimensions and boom now as you can see this is the blue one right so we don't need these so we could just take these off um so this is the this is the graph that we finna use now if we play it boom so if you're a beginner motion blur is a big thing like you got to have motion blur if you don't then i don't know what to say <laughs> <laughs> but we're also gonna make a rotation so for example z rotation press r on your keyboard press u and then just make the keyframe the same as the other one but just rotate it a little bit um i think i'm just go upside down like this or something like this and then just do the same thing with the graph so f9 and then just do the same it's raining tacos from out of the sky and yeah i mean that's pretty much it for this tutorial oh my god wait i'm actually shaking because i'm nervous you're nervous why are you nervous because like i have a crush on you but you're old boy <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching and shout out to the people who as soon as they see that I posted, they click on it and like the video without even watching like y'all some goats no. Yeah. But um yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you learned something from this. I hope I made your day a little bit better, I guess. I don't know how, but hopefully I did. So um yeah. Doses.